Hello, Super City families, and welcome back to Super City Online. It's Sabi and Sean. One of the greatest things about being part of God's family is that we never have to do things alone. The believers in the early church stuck together. They ate and prayed together. They helped each other when they were struggling. Other men and women saw how these believers lived and wanted to be part of what God was doing. God's family still works like that today. We work together on God's mission, taking care of each other and sharing the good news. God loves the lost. He wants them to be saved. He wants the world to know Him. And we get to be part of God's mission. We get to share the good news. Some people are afraid to share the good news. They worry that they won't remember everything or that they'll say the wrong thing. But it is encouraging to know that sharing the good news isn't difficult and you don't have to have all the answers right away. Let's go watch the story, kids. God's story, Peter and the other believers. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Peter? Well, it goes like this. Jesus had given Peter and the other disciples a special job to tell everyone about his rescue. The Holy Spirit had come to give them power. But they didn't do this job alone. In fact, everybody who believed in Jesus stuck together. They shared with each other, ate together, prayed together, and praised God together. They gave to people who were in need. Every day, other people saw the way they loved each other and took care of each other like a family or a team. And every day, more people decided to follow Jesus. The Holy Spirit did miracles through them too. Like one day, when Peter and another disciple, John, went to the temple. There, they saw a man who couldn't walk begging for money. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. The man stood up and not only walked, but also jumped and praised God. And he was just one of many people who were healed in Jesus' name. The disciples kept showing people that Jesus really is the rescuer. Now, this probably sounds great, and it is, but guess what? Not everybody liked it. In fact, some people didn't believe Jesus was the rescuer. They didn't want anybody else to believe it either. So they treated Peter and the others badly. They put them in jail and even beat them. But the disciples were still joyful. After all, Jesus had suffered and died for them. They considered it an honor to suffer for him. No matter what, the disciples taught people about Jesus and kept praising him and honoring him. They never stopped telling people that Jesus is God's son, the rescuer God had promised for so many years. And because they bravely told more and more people about Jesus, we get to know about Jesus and follow him today. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter and the disciples had a special job. They worked as a team. The Holy Spirit did miracles through them, like healing a man who couldn't walk. They told everybody about Jesus. Some people got mad. The disciples got in trouble. They kept sharing the good news of Jesus' rescue. And that's a part of God's story. Mark 16, verse 15. As you go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Boys and girls, after Jesus died on the cross, he met his disciples and encouraged them to spread the good news. Put your trust in Jesus and you will be saved. The Holy Spirit gave the believers the power that they needed to live boldly for God. They couldn't help but tell others about the Lord and Savior, their greatest hero, Jesus Christ. As people started to see God working in the lives of Christians, His love and generosity overflowing in their hearts, they became interested. What is it that makes these people different, they'd ask? Why do these people seem to have so much love for each other? God was using the believers to reach others for Him. And God is still using believers, like you and me, to make an impact for Him. We get to be part of His mission because He loves the lost and He longs to save them. He wants the world to know Him. The greatest gift that we can give to anyone is the good news of Jesus. Boys and girls, if we think of a puzzle, every piece is important and every piece forms part of the final picture. The good news about Jesus is the same. 
if you talk to someone, you don't have to share everything about Jesus with that person straight away. God can work in their hearts little by little using the things that you and the other Christians around you share with that person. God starts to piece all the good news together in your friend's heart. God can do mighty work in their life and you get to play a part in that. In the Bible, Peter wrote to the believer saying, Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. Be ready to give the reason for it, but do it gently and with respect. When Jesus saves you, the Holy Spirit starts to work in your heart, changing the ways that people around you can see. Boys and girls, before Jesus saved me, I was going in the wrong direction. I was doing things my own way. Sin was in charge of my life. If you want to live with God, you have to be perfect. That's because God is holy and the consequences for sin is death. That's the direction that my life was heading. One day I heard about Jesus. He lived a perfect life. He never sinned and even though he was completely innocent, he stepped in and took the punishment that I deserved. He took my place by dying on the cross and He gave me His righteousness. He made me right with God. Look at this, boys and girls. Since Jesus saved me, He started working in and through my life. He has completely changed the direction that I was going in. Now, because of Him, I get to spend time with God in heaven. Boys and girls, you can share your own story about how the good news has changed your life forever. Then you can invite your friends to put their trust in Jesus too. They can believe that Jesus died on the cross to rescue them from the punishment of sin. They can trust the Holy Spirit to help them overcome the power of sin as well. Mark 16 verse 15 As you go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper, leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you. Now I can see clearly my God, you for me. You won't let go. Your love won't let me down. And I know it's true. Yeah, I know that.
Thank you for tuning in boys and girls and that was the last lesson in our series of God's mission. We hope you feel ready to go out and spread the good news. We'll see you again in term four. Bye! His love and Jared and <laughs> What is it that makes... Look at this, boys and girls. Since Jesus saved me, he started working in and through my life. He has completely changed the direction that I was going in. <laughs> <laughs>